What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we finally got a Raptor in for the inside of the bed, the black Raptor. So we're gonna be tackling that today. So I just got one full kit, which this should do like an eight foot bed. So we'll see how much I use. I might just put on the extras and uh, have it a little bit thicker, but either way, we got a full kit. I'm using the professional gun, just like I did on the whole truck. So what we got to do is I'm gonna mask the tailgate off around the entire tailgate. We got to go through and scuff up all this overspray. So I'm just going to take a scotch bright, go through, scuff it up real quick, and then clean it. We got a mask. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to bring the Raptor, the black, over to this line here and just follow this all the way up. And then just basically cap it. I don't want to, I don't to bring it too far down. I think I'm just going to go right on that line. So let's get the inside of this bed scuffed up. Probably have to do a little bit on the tailgate, and then we can get it all cleaned up, masked up, and start spraying this stuff. Alright guys, we're all masked up, so I'm just going to go through with the Prep All Wax and Grease Remover, give it a quick wipe, and then on some of these bare areas and the places I put the Pore 15, we need a little bit of primer, so I'm going to be using the U-Pole Acid Etch, I'll show you guys that. So that's the Wax and Grease Remover I'm using, and then this is the Acid Etch Primer. This stuff works really good, and it's nice in a spray can, it's actually the same brand, Raptor is made by U-Pole. So they actually recommend this for bare spots underneath the Raptor. So let's get it cleaned up, spray some primer on it. This stuff only needs, what, 10 to 15 minutes, I think 10 to 20 minutes to dry. And then you don't even have to scuff it, you just spray the Raptor right on top of it.
it is boys bed looking a lot better tailgate turned out good so i got to answer some of your guys's questions from when i did the entire body i know i was going to go through how much i used but i completely forgot in that video so i got a lot of questions how much raptor did i use on the whole truck how many coats and kind of the pressure and gun settings so i used a total of i think 10 liters 10 bottles i did two full coats on the entire truck I just wanted it covered. I don't want to have any missing spots. So I did two full coats, 10 bottles. I shot the gun at 60 PSI and that gun, that professional gun I was using has the adjustable nozzle on it. I was three turns out on that and it sprayed out really nice. Texture looks good, nice and uniform. One thing I could have done better is staying farther away from the panels. I really haven't sprayed much Raptor. I did the bed, the flatbed on the red truck and that's really about it. And I was really close on that. And with going that close, you kind of get stripes. I'll show you guys the hood in a second. It actually is looking a lot better so far. It's been, what, five days I think now. So it's almost fully cured. And the hood is looking a lot better. So I'll show you that in a second. But another thing on this bed. So I bought, like you saw, the kit of four bottles. I was planning on doing two full coats. I got halfway through the bed and I was already three bottles in. I was laying it a little bit heavier. So I just went and used the rest of it and just hosed it on. So I got one coat on the bed and it looks really good. And this Raptor liner really isn't as thick as some of you guys think. If you're used to like the uh, Line X, I have Line X in a different truck and that stuff is literally probably over an eighth inch thick. It is very, very thick stuff. This is not that thick. I'll show you the edge of where I masked up to the bed from the green to the black. You can barely even see the edge. So if you can see that, there's barely a lip from the green to the black. And I, I sprayed it pretty heavy on this edge here just to get the build up. But you can see it's not that thick. And I know I showed it in a different video. Um, a lot of you guys were asking if the doors were gonna interfere and nothing is interfering. Everything closes really nice. There's no, like I said, it's not that thick. So everything closes just fine. The windows seal, obviously. And I, I did mask back from the actual ceiling surface, so it's still paint on a lot of these gaskets and seals. So there shouldn't be any issues with anything sealing. Doors close just fine. All right, guys, there's the hood. So you can see there might be a little bit of faint striping still, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. So I guess the next thing we could do is get this tailgate back together, get all the latches on. We got some latches or whatever bolted onto here we can get all that together set the tailgate on it and i think it's really crazy how just bed lining the back here just the inside of the bed really makes the whole truck look different before with the white it just kind of set off it didn't look right but with the black in there now it kind of completed the whole theme of this truck i still want to do black wheels but the bed made a huge difference in the appearance
it is guys, tailgate's on, working good, latching good, everything's working really nice. So I'm really happy with how this Raptor line turned out. I definitely recommend it. It's cheap. This whole kit was like 100 bucks. You can do an entire bed. We'll see how it holds up. I know the bed on my, my flat bed is perfect still. There's not a, a ding or a scratch in it. This stuff dries extremely hard and should be pretty durable. I know this is a short video, guys. I'm going to cut it right here. Bed's all done. So the next thing we got to do really is get this interior back together. I'm still waiting for my carpet. So we got to get that carpet in. Then we can go through and get all the interior panels back together. We also got to tackle the front end. So the grill and side markers and everything. So I think I'm going to color match that. I really do like a color match grill. The bumper is going to be black, but I think the color match grill really flows good. I know on the red truck, I really love that grill being color matched. So I think I'm going to do the same on this one. So if you guys are new to Raptor Liner, definitely follow the link in the description. It'll bring you to Amazon. This stuff is very cheap. It's do it yourself. You don't have to pay thousands of dollars to have someone like Linex do your bed. Linex is a very, very good product, but it's expensive. You can do this stuff for hundred bucks, your whole bed at home, and it's actually very easy to spray. So for you do it yourself guys, this is a very good option for your bed. And I would also recommend if you're gonna be doing an entire bed, or say an entire truck, I definitely recommend that that better professional gun with the adjustable nozzle. That thing is a lifesaver. It sprays so much better, so much more even. You can adjust the texture on it, so it's very, very nice to have. Well, that's it for this one, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.